According to some videos, I'm holding $500 in my hands right now. This is A5 Olive Wagyu imported from Japan. No exaggeration, the best steak in the world. But there's a lot of misinformation about the different types of Wagyu beef classifications and the costs attached with their label. Easter's coming up, so if you've been thinking about splurging on Wagyu beef to celebrate, watch this video first. Spoiler alert, this didn't cost over $1,000. Not even close. We'll look at the two most popular websites and quote some actual prices. A lot of people watch videos about Wagyu and they assume that each little bite that they take costs like $100. Are they exaggerating and completely blowing it out of proportion or is there actually some truth to what they're saying? I've bought and experimented with Wagyu for about two years now and it really depends on three things. One, what type of cut you get. Most people are familiar with New York strip, ribeye, and filet mignon. All three of those are gonna differ in price from each other, and they're also all gonna be way more expensive than a cut like top sirloin. Two, what grade you get. Uh, most people are familiar with A5 Wagyu. That's kind of the, the cream of the crop. That's what people will make videos out of. There's A5, but there's also A4, 3, 2, and 1 and a lot of people get A4, A3 because there's really uh, there's really some diminishing returns on how good a steak needs to be, you know? There's also hybrid Wagyu that comes from America or is grown in Australia, and that's a whole separate topic. And then there's olive Wagyu, which we'll be looking at. Uh, I'm not sure why it's not its own grade. It should be like A6, you know? And the third thing that's gonna determine your cost is where you buy it from. A lot of people buy from the Wagyu shop or uh, Crowd Cow, which is where I shop from, and those are the two main websites. And I'll show you both websites, we'll compare and contrast, and get some first-hand shopping experience. The first website we'll peek at is the Wagyu Shop. I've seen quite a few creators use this website, like Nick D. Giovanni. Feels really luxurious. You can tell that you're about to drop some fat stacks. This is their product line for Olive Wagyu, and the spread's incredible. All different prices too, so you can find something that suits you. This is such a beautiful website, even shopping around is fun. The B-rolls are beautiful and make you so hungry. Even the way that the text and pictures of the product fades in and out is magical. Remember this is all of Wagyu we're looking at, so this is going to be the most extreme of prices. $189 for 10 ounces. That comes out to $300 a pound, which is so much money. But if you think this ribeye is expensive, just wait. Let's check out this filet mignon. This is gonna be the most beefed up price as filet mignon is regarded with such high prestige. It's the most tender part of the cow because that muscle isn't worked a whole lot. So you see filet mignon usually wrapped in bacon or pan seared with a lot of brown butter. But with this amount of marbling, that really does change the game. $69, right? That's for two ounces. So multiply that by eight and you get like $550 a pound. That's not just insanely expensive, that's a huge leap from ribeye to filet mignon. Just to try filet mignon. I think in general people consider ribeye to be a much superior steak to the filet mignon. Especially because the filet mignon is lacking in fat, which is why you see it wrapped in bacon all the time. But this one is Wagyu, so it has a lot of fat on it. So it's going to have much more of an edge over your traditional filet mignon, but $200 more just to have that. Crab Cow is the other website people buy from. If you've seen Adam Ragusea's videos, he's sponsored by them. It's definitely not as flashy or elegant as the Wagyu shop, but the Wagyu imported is the very same. They have a nice Wagyu 101 section that you can peruse through. You can learn about the different cattle breeds of Wagyu, the difference between Wagyu and Kobe beef, which is really helpful because the lines between Wagyu and Kobe seem to be very blurred with not very many people knowing what the difference is and a meat grading scale comparing A5 Wagyu to other cuts of beef that you would find in the stores or in restaurants. I'm not sponsored or anything by Crowd Cow. It's just the very first place that I was able to order Wagyu straight to my house. And I also like window shopping that website too. I also buy a lot of sausages and poultry and they have a huge like game section. If you're into that, I like to browse it all the time. They're always having sales and showing new product that they have. If you've been shopping for a while on here, you've seen that they've done a terrific job diversifying outside of Wagyu beef and other premier quality products like Kurobuta Berkshire pork. It's really easy to navigate and shop based on categories such as the prefecture it's imported from or the quality of beef. It's very important to take your time with these purchases because it can cost a lot of money really quickly. Spend some time shopping, add a few things to your cart and sleep on it. 
I spent less than $100 on my first purchase just to see the Wagyu and try it for the first time. They pack it with dry ice if you're wondering how they ship raw meat all the way across country. There's a lot of hype about things like Wagyu and dry aged beef and the honest truth is it's not for everybody. Wagyu is a lot more approachable than dry aged beef in my opinion but the amount of fat that it has sometimes is off putting to a lot of people. But that's enough rambling, let's take a look at our first steak from Crowd Cow. $180 for 12 ounces, I think that's like $240 a pound, which isn't bad. It's $60 cheaper than the Wagyu shop and with Crowd Cow, if you spend, I think it's over $99, which in this case isn't a problem at all. You get free shipping. They just released all of Wagyu two weeks ago, so you can see that they've already ran through their entire stock. The filet mignon medallions are $200 for eight ounces, which is $400 a pound. That's almost double the price of the ribeye, yikes but it is $150 cheaper than the Wagyu shop. You can save an enormous amount of money just from shopping around. I also use a $25 off coupon on every crowd car order, so that saves me a lot of money. The selection on this website is so impressive. They even have skirt steak, chuck roast, and brisket. So you can have a Wagyu version of corned beef or carne asada if you really wanted to. Even though this is $320, that's for four whole pounds. Comes out to like $80 a pound, which is like a significant difference. So the real cost just depends on what you get and where you get it from. I think olive wagyu, in my personal opinion, is probably just a little bit over the top, especially if you want to try an 8.5 wagyu. Uh, just get that, get one of the cheaper offcuts, like a strip and loin. And if you get like two or three friends, you go in on a larger piece of meat, uh, you're going to get much better value for your money. And that's even if you want to try a5, maybe you want to try a3 or 4 just to save a significant amount of money. Or maybe those prices are just way too ridiculous and you'd rather go for an American or Australian Wagyu, which is probably what I would recommend because I think there's there's some diminishing returns on how good a steak actually needs to be for you to eat it. Even though the internet trolls are gonna hate because it's not Japanese A5 Wagyu, it's probably still gonna be the best damn steak you've ever had. Thanks for watching and I'll leave the links for both websites and any coupons that I have in the description. Hope this helped out.